top military and civilian leaders look over a battlefield in Adige, Latvia, as soldiers execute a training engagement as part of Sabre Strike 15. Latvian troops assaulted a British defended position with the help of American close air support from A-10s. This display is just one example of the growth of the U.S. Army Europe-led training. USAR Commander Lieutenant General Ben Hodges says the success of this exercise is due to the hard work of soldiers on the ground. Uh, but it's the United States Army uh, participation, leadership here, uh, creates a, a sort of a gravitational pull that other allies, other countries want to be a part of it uh, because of the respect that the U.S. Army has earned from all of our allies and all of our partners. <laughs> Deputy Commander Major General William Gaylor spent the day in the field meeting with troops from several nations. This is really about relationships and there's no better opportunity to form and strengthen relationships than during an exercise like Sabre Strike that not only forms and, and strengthens relationships but it also uh, ensures interoperability and commonality of uh, how we train and fight. Uh, and it is really phenomenal to watch. So as the training continues, these leaders are watching over the progress this multinational group of soldiers is making. Air Force Staff Sergeant John Archquette. Adige, Latvia.